What's up guys, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to another filming location video. Um, I'm actually filming two different filming location videos today. Uh, one being the movie Prisoners, and the other being The Walking Dead. Um, lots and lots of interesting film locations in and around Atlanta. Filming location video is all about the movie Prisoners. I don't know how many people have seen that movie. Um, it came out in 2013. Um, it stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman and uh, Terrence Howard, those two actors, um, they're, they're, both of their daughters um, go missing. And obviously um, they think that both of, the, both of their daughters were kidnapped. And then that's where uh, Jake Gyllenhaal comes into comes into the action because he is the detective. Keller Dover, or Hugh Jackman, takes um, Alex Jones, uh, the supposed kidnapper, um, to this abandoned house here. Yeah. You don't tell me why. It's better if I just show you. Show me what? But Keller Dover um, obviously is pissed because he can't find his daughter. He doesn't think the police are helping him. And so he goes to this liquor store, was right next door to the abandoned house. And Detective Loki, uh, or Jake Gyllenhaal, he is kind of staking out um, Keller Dover because he's, he, he's thinking that maybe Keller Dover had something to do with his own daughter's disappearance. So basically, Detective Loki is just sitting here across the street from the liquor store, just watching. Um, this next, another scene, uh, one of the more uh, well-known scenes um, in the movie Prisoners um, is Keller Dover's house, so Hugh Jackman's house in the movie. Um, the actual movie was set to be in Conyers, Pennsylvania, so interestingly enough is Conyers, Georgia where they filmed it. So.
Terrence Howard's character, Franklin Birch, um, the friend of Hugh Jackman's character, uh, they live here. And a few scenes, Franklin Birch and uh, Hugh Jackman, they, they run across the lawn and the three trees are here prominent in the scene as well. Alex Jones, he's like a 30 something, 35 year old guy, um, but I think he has uh, either Down syndrome or maybe some sort of, I don't know, maybe mental illness or something. Alex Jones and his mom, Holly Jones. Yeah, this is their house that they live at. Basically, Alex Jones walks his dog on the sidewalk across the street from his house. And I think he, he bumps into, uh, Keller Dover, because Keller Dover, you know, suspects that he that that Alex is involved. Um, so behind me is was the police station used in the movie. Um, Detective Loki uh, and a few of his partners, you know, go in and work in there. Um, it is not an actual police station in real life. I'm sure you already knew that. They're both Alex Jones and his mom are led out of the police station back to their car, and they're basically harassed and attacked uh, by. Keller Dover um, because he is adamant that this Alex Jones guy is the one who took his daughter. Now, it took me like 10-15 minutes to, to look at the gas station and uh, kind of find out the angle that was used in the movie because uh, if you've seen the movie, uh, you'd remember that basically Alex Jones, the supposed kidnapper, um, basically parks his RV like right up against like the woods um, and you see the gas station kind of in the background. And uh, there's woods on both sides of, of this gas station, so I was trying to figure out the right angle. And uh, I believe I found exactly the angle that they used in the movie. Detective Loki finds uh, this random RV that uh, was driving around the neighborhood where you know, Keller Dover and uh, Terrence Howard's uh, characters' daughters were playing, and so he kind of follows the RV, I think, to this gas station and sees it parked up against the, the woods up here. And, uh, and so he goes in to investigate. Now, unfortunately, you know, four years after they filmed this, they cut down a good significant amount of trees. Uh, so it doesn't look exactly the same here in the woods. But... Uh, this is the angle they used.
the girls. Where are the girls at? Anyway, thanks for watching you guys. Awesome, awesome location. Um, probably one of the top 10, I would say, thriller movies I've seen. Um, if you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. Um, like I said, there are a few scenes that it's kind of like waterboarding almost, in a sense. If you, if you don't like, you know, people beating each other up and that kind of thing, then obviously, you know, feel free you could skip a couple scenes, but um, it did take me two days to film this video and The Walking Dead because I filmed a bunch uh, around Atlanta and uh, I drove like an hour or two outside of Atlanta to film a lot of other scenes So they weren't all too close together, but I made it work. So I really hope you enjoyed I did put a lot of work and effort into finding all the locations uh, Definitely stay tuned uh, walking dead film location video that will be up next. Thanks for watching you guys I will see you in a couple days I appreciate everyone who subscribes, hits, hits the like button, just really anything that helps promote my channel or just is very thoughtful, I do appreciate it. So thanks guys, and I'll see you next time. As always, first of all, don't get run over by a car, <laughs> but uh, don't forget to live, explore, and travel. See you guys later.